Hola mi gente, what's going on everybody? This is RB Beltran on the NLY News. Guys, today I want to talk to you guys about Kettle Marte, the center fielder of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Because people ask me, oh RB, who, who would you target if you were the Yankees? Who do you think the Yankees have interest in trading for? Who would be ideal for the Yankees? And my answer to you guys is Kettle Marte. Kettle Marte will check off all the boxes that the Yankees are looking for for an outfielder. The Yankees are the Yankees are prioritizing a left-handed batter that plays the outfield, according to certain reports that I, that um, I've seen. Kettle Marte checks off that box. Not only that, he's a 27-year-old switch hitter. Okay, bats both right and left, and bats very well. On both sides as well, not only on w one side. Okay, he has a. Let me tell you guys something about him. He has a small sample this season so far due to a hamstring injury, so he was out for quite a while. And I believe he he came back. I believe. So during that small sample that he's he has played, he has six runs, fourteen hits, five doubles, two home runs, six RBIs. His batting average is three fifty. You know, that can change since he came back. So, so far it's 350. His um, on base percentage, 372. Sluggage percentage, 625. His OPS, 997. Okay? This is the kind of player that puts the ball in play. Barely strikes out. And that's the kind of player that we need in this lineup. Because this lineup strikes out a lot. Okay? We need to get, get, get rid of that mindset. Start... start Changing our mindset, stop stop looking for players that is home run or bust. Okay, I, I don't know if we're already accustomed to that mentality that we all oh, we need a player that is home run or bust. No, I'd rather have players that puts the ball in play and doesn't strike out as much. And Kettle Marte is that kind of player. Plays the center fielder, plays center field. Not only that, he also plays shortstop and second base. So now with that acquisition of Kettle Marte, let's say hypothetically, we eliminate Tyler Wade for coming in to play. Because when we have Tyler Wade, yes, I understand Tyler Wade recently in the Rangers series, he's done well. But come on, guys. Come on. We eliminate Tyler Wade. Okay, we don't need Mike Ford, Tyler Wade in, in, in the lineup at all. We need our core players at all times in the lineup, starting every day, to give us the best shot at winning games. Okay? So, Kettle Marte will be my number one target for the outfield. Okay, like I've said, switch hitter, push the ball in play in all the fields. He's not a pull hitter automatically. Push the ball in play in all the fields, which is wonderful. Not only that, he has a very friendly contract, guys. Okay, you're talking about an all-star caliber player with a friendly contract. He has four years left in his contract. This year, in 2021, he's owed $6 million. 2022, $8 million. 2023, $11 million. 2024, $12 million. And 2025, he's an unrestricted free agent with two, co two club options in 2023 and 2024. And yes, guys, it's going to require a haul. The Diamondbacks is going to ask for a haul for Kettle Marte, and rightfully so. Okay? We got to stop with these horrendous trade packages that I've seen people that I've seen people write down or even message me. Like, one, one guy messaged me saying, oh, we can offer Mike Ford, Tyler Wynn, and Gary Sanchez for Kettle Marte. You have got to be kidding me. You think... That preposterous trade package deal will get a player like Keta Marte to the Yankees. We gotta stop it with these with these ridiculous trade. Okay. Yes, it's gonna require a haul, top prospects, maybe even MLB ready players. Okay. And let me tell you something. I would do it. Okay. Depending on obviously how many players the, the Diamondbacks want, and who and who. But if you're telling me David Garcia, Florio, plus two other more prospects, you're telling me I won't do I won't pull the trigger? 
Yes, absolutely. You know, we got, we had to stop holding on to these prospects so tightly. Okay, like I've said it before, our window is now to win the World Series. Not in the future, now. We can't be wasting Garrett's cold prime years. Judge, uh, Sanchez, Stanton, Gio, um, Gleyber Torres. We can't, we can't be wasting these players' prime years. Because if we waste these players' prime years and we still haven't won the World Series, we have a big issue. We have a massive problem. Our time to win the World Series is now. So you do what you have to do, whatever it takes, to get the Yankees to the World Series and win one. It's been since 2009, okay? 2009, guys, since we won the World Series. Don't you think it's enough? Don't you think it's been enough already that the Yankees haven't won one? Wouldn't it feel awesome our Yankees win the World Series this season? Okay, so I hope to God that cash mat this year's trade deadline be aggressive, make calls. Even if Ken Marte isn't available, you give them a call. Hey, what would it take for a tra- for a trade for Ken Marte? Because he will literally solve the all the boxes, like I said earlier in the message. So enough with this horrendous package deals. Do what it takes to acquire a player like Kettle Marte and bring him over. Like I said, he's my number one target for the outfield. Alright? So leave you so leave your comments below guys on who you guys will like for Cash to target. Who do you guys prefer? Who do you guys think will fit perfectly, will solve the issue that we are going through? Um and I will talk to you guys soon. Ciao. Yeah.